Hi everybody, I'm Susan and this is problem 38 from test 3 in your Red Book. So go ahead and pause the video for a moment to check out that problem. All right, so what we've got here are two endpoints, negative 8, negative 3, and 2, 3. And the question is asking us how do we find the x value of the midpoint? And there's several ways you can do this just depending on what works best for your brain. So I'm going to go through a couple different options. First, I'm going to do the one that works best for me. So we know the x value of one endpoint is negative 8, and the x value of the other endpoint is positive 2. And if you think of a number line back in your elementary school days, the distance between negative 8 and 2 is 10 units. So let's just write 10 right here. It's 10 units long in x's. That's how the distance between x1 and x2. And we want the midpoint. So half of 10 is 5. And so all we're really going to do here is add 5 to negative 8. So negative 8 plus 5 equals negative 3. And you can imagine that on here, by the way. This is going like this. Of course, our midpoint is going to be right here at negative 3. That's halfway in between. And negative 3 is option G. So that's the right answer here. So that's one way you can solve this. Let's do a couple other ways. A second way would be to draw a quick picture of where these points are. If you're a more visual thinker, this is probably going to work better for you. So I went ahead and drew our graph over here. Your first point's at negative 8, negative 3. Your second point is at 2, 3. If you draw a line in between them, you can just tell visually by looking at it that that halfway point is going to be right at negative 3. So if that's what works for you, that is an equally valid way to do it. Lastly, if you are a fan of your calculator, feel free to plug these endpoints in, and then you can just sort of examine that on your calculator and find that the midpoint is negative 3 that way as well. So this one's all about what works well for you, but no matter what, the right answer is G, which is negative 3.